Hey guys, this is a really quick comparison video that I wanted to do comparing two of my Convoy S6s and I have two different emitters in them. So the one to the left here has the SFT40 and the one to the right has the CSLNM1 emitter. I wonder if I can get this up a little bit closer. So there you can see the NM1 emitter, it's about one millimeter by one millimeter die surface. The SFT40, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's about two, maybe two by two millimeter die surface. So as a consequence, this one is gonna produce significantly more light than the NM1, okay? Given that it has, uh, it's in the same host and uh, has the same driver as well, five amp driver, okay? And uh, what I did is I, I ran some tests um, on my Oppo Lightmaster Pro and I found that the NM1 version throws nearly 500 meters on switch on by basically about 430 meters with the NM1. And this one with the SFT40 throws about 380 plus meters. So both very respectable because considering how small these lights are, I mean, look at that, just fit in the palm, easy to, to uh, pocket. You know, they didn't come with any clips or anything, just a lanyard attached to the end. And so that's why I've gone, gone ahead and actually added my own clip to this one and uh, metal clip gear as well. So yeah, suggest you go buy some from Convoy unless you're happy to just carry it around in your pocket loose. So in terms of which one of these lights you should get, now if you wanna maximize throw, I really recommend going with the NM1. It gives you an extra 100 meters of throw. You really can't beat that. And I wonder if Simon's going to release this with the W2 emitter here as well. That has a, it's like a green W2 emitter. And there's, uh, I think there's a green version of the NM1 as well. So I'd love to see that in there because I know green has, uh, you know, produces some extra throw. And um, yeah, if you want, I guess the all, you know, all rounder that uh, produces the most amount of light and significant amounts of throw, I mean, you've got that trusty SFT40. That's why it's used in so many tactical flashlights out there. It's just the best balance of output and throw. So anyway, let's cut to the beam shots. You're gonna be able to see how both of these perform together. So I'm gonna be comparing the Convoy S6. It's got two of them here, one with the NM1 and one of the SFT40. So this is the NM1. Very impressive throw. Oh, that pencil thin, that pencil thin beam. Okay. And then on the right here, we've got the SFT40. Okay. NM1, SFT40. And as you can see, the SFT40 produces so much more light. You really can notice that here in camera. It lights up a lot of that field. Okay. And, uh, it doesn't throw as far as you can see, that's the NM1. It really illuminates that trunk of the tree much, much more. So it's good for spotting. Okay, but that SFT40, that, the amount of light that comes out of this little host is incredible. I'd say like the spill pattern's pretty similar. It's just that the actual the spill itself, as you can see, I mean, it's like, twice as almost twice as bright in the spill like that look at that nm1 sft40 here to the right and you see how they go as they start to step down um and as they're getting pretty hot i have to say they're getting pretty hot but as they are the the um you can see here with the nm1 the throw is now a lot more apparent as the SFT40 starts to step down, okay? But it's still producing, like you can see here, it's still producing a lot more spill. It's not as much as it did in the beginning, SFT40. It's almost just producing a larger hotspot. So if you're looking maybe for a light that throws a huge distance, I mean, 381 meters on that 100% mode is so impressive for a little light like this. But it still has a, decent enough hotspot to to see into a larger area to illuminate a couple of trees whereas this one you can just zoom in almost to like a little area of that tree and it illuminates it very well but everything around it you can't see really what's going on whereas the sft40 just has overall better visibility um but that nm1 in there is just so cool i mean you can't beat that kind of 
that laser-like beam. One of my most favorite LEDs, I have to say.